and welcome back to this week's Bus Build Saga. If you're new around here, let me just take a few minutes to catch you up to speed. Recently, Dustin and I purchased a 2006 Thomas School Bus, which we are now in the beginning stages of converting it into our own little tiny home on wheels. We've accomplished quite a bit so far in the last couple weeks, but before we dive in, let's just back it up a little bit and give you some insight into what we've been up to the last couple of days. We are just walking into REI Denver right now and it is an absolute freaking beautiful day. So we just want to show all the little downtown things going on. You got Elitch Gardens right over there. The line to get into the aquarium in Elitch Gardens was freaking packed. We're going to maybe get some rock climbing gear. Let's catch you in a minute. Everything. Yeah, everything. <laughs> we would like to look at climbing gear for sport climbing. Basically, where do we start? Sir, yeah. So what just happened? We spent a lot, a lot of money. On what? Well, you see, there's this sport that we kind of like. We've done it a few times. Rock climbing. So. What? We just got ourselves hooked up with rock climbing gear. So now we can go anywhere that we like and go climb some, some rocks pretty stoked about it. Yeah. So after our trip to REI, we came back and we decided to take the new school bus to the scrapyard. That way we could get rid of all of the old bus seats. But before we could actually go, we ran into a little bit of problems. We are getting ready to take all of those steel seats that we had talked about in our last vlog. We're about to take them to the metal place and first things first, we actually, we have to jumpstart the new bus because for some reason, I think we might have left a light on or something. Yeah, right there. What? The pump. Oh. I have the wheelchair pump on. Yeah, so we got left on and so now it's dead. So before we go anywhere, we're gonna use our lovely bus number one to jumpstart our lovely Bus number two. My bad. Something a little different and see if it works. I'm gonna crack 
cross our fingers. Oh, there it is. Finally. <laughs> that was only after I don't know how many attempts. She was dead, but we're good to go. We are now on our way to the scrap yard and we're going to get rid of all of that. So it's a little sketch kind of driving right now, um, but I don't think we have very far to go. So let's go get rid of this junk. I got some scrap seats and shit, but then I've also got some of like aluminum heads and so what do I need to do? Gotcha, so my aluminum, my copper, that kind of thing, you're going to buy a big one, that's a lot. Uh, no, uh, I, uh, buy it. seats, I've got to ask, are you taking off? All the foam's off, and, and I've also got the handicap lift. It's all steel. Yeah. 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 Uh, what's your personal name? Dustin Johnson. Hey, See what weight we are? I do. 11,020 pounds. Okay. That one's straight ahead. You make a bit of a right around the cars, and then either back out or full sideways, whichever's easier. Where that black truck is? Yeah, just on the other side of him. Okay. There'll be a guy there to show you a spot. Okay, yeah, I can hand unload it. There's nothing to it. Perfect. Thank you. $14.98. Can I have the other one? After the scrapyard, we decided to call it a day as we both had some business stuff that we had to take care of. But we picked right back up Saturday morning with our typical routine. Good morning. We are up bright and early this morning. It is 4.21 a.m. We have got a lot in store today, some more bus build project. We're starting our second week, but first, it's time to go work out. Let's go. Gonna start her off with a little walk in this awesome gym with all of the equipment. Walk's complete, now we stretch. Now we mobilize. Here we go.
how we read. Then we run. It's like my least favorite thing to do. <laughs> but we be getting it. Miss Johnson, Miss Johnson, you just won the world tour of 5K Saturday morning runs in front of the entire freaking world. What do you have to say? Let's go eat. with some proper nutrition, it was time to finally get started on the bus build again. Now we bus. So we first started off with removing the air conditioner from the back of the bus, as well as some connected wires and a few hoses that ran to the air conditioning unit. We then removed the AC unit from underneath the bus. Give me them blue cutters again. What? Sorry, I need to bring them with me. Thank you. What do I need to do, Bo? taken care of it was finally time to start removing the ceiling panels. For the most part the screws came out relatively easy but then we came across a few screws that were already stripped which made it very difficult for them to be removed. So at that point we had to use a grinder and a crowbar to remove the remaining screws. <laughs> Just as Dustin and I were almost complete with tearing out the ceiling panels, our batteries died, which I guess that's the joys of building on the road and only having battery powered tools. And so that's where we left off. So today we're going to finish tearing out the ceiling and then we have a few things left to pick up. So let's go. That's it. We're done. It's all cleaned up and it's all ready to go to the scrapyard again, which we will show you the journey along the way with that again next week. Um, got it cleaned up good. We plan to show you the floor tear out next weekend. Um, yeah, as you've seen, like we've already, you know, torn out the ceiling and that was quite a big project getting all of that done. I mean, we had a little bit of difficulty with some of the screws, getting them taken out, but um, it's done and 
now on to new things. I feel like we're done too. Like we're exhausted. It's been a long weekend. Yeah, we're beat up. Uh, but that's kind of what we wanted to talk about. Like we only get to do this on the weekends. Um, we both work during the week. Yeah, I still work a full-time job doing construction. And then on the side, we both run Sunrise Nutrition mm -hmm. and Fitness. And then, and then on course, the side side, we run Road <laughs> Trip Adventure, yep. which is our vlogs and, and our clothing and now our uh, uh, road trip squad. Mm -hmm. And so we're always trying to improve. We're always trying to grow. So we ask you guys, like, what do you want to see? What do you want to hear from us? What um, kind of videos would you like? Do you sure. want more informative videos? Do you want um, more descriptive uh, showing you the stuff? Let us know. Um, we would like to include you too. Sure, you're part of the squad now. Mm -hmm. um, as you've seen last week, you can become part of the squad, the road trip squad. Um, if you need help or need details, it will be in the bottom uh, description. Or you can always email us too at roadtripadventure at gmail.com. Yep, or message us on Facebook or Instagram. We're always on them. Um, but yeah, I feel like we're exhausted. We're probably filthy. <laughs> we are filthy, actually. Telling you stink some. I do not. She farts a lot. I do not. That's you. Anyways. Uh, probably gonna get some food. Probably gonna take a nap. Probably gonna hit up the pool. Yeah, today. probably get some sun at the pool. <laughs> but I mean, we just you know this is this is us. This is this is gonna be a long journey. Um, we're trying yeah. to do everything right on this bus, and it's gonna be fun. We're excited. But yeah, let us know what you guys think. Let us know what you want to see or any suggestions you have. You know, like we've never really built a bus from scratch so if you have any recommendations on anything or cool ideas yeah shoot them know? our way we yeah. want to include you and bring you on this journey as well sure yeah i think that's it yeah i think that's all we got we're grateful for all of you guys yes thank you so much and we will get to it next weekend spread love bye guys what are you doing it's going to pool Nothing caps off a weekend of bus building like this. What happened? Huh? Well, that's horrible.